Zach Gowan versus me. Two minutes ago, you wanted my autograph on a word life ringer tee. Are you stupid? I just beat The Undertaker, man. I can handle the last ride. You can't handle the last stand. Hey, Gowan. Only offense you got is a plastic leg drop. And whether you like it or not, homie, you feeling hip hop. Oh, no, 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 no. You're still good for two things. And one is being a waste of space. The other is being a perfect partner in a three-legged race. Yo, 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 that's, that's okay. See, we got something in common, Zach. But I can pull off the trick. I got one leg. I don't need a fake. I put a boot on mine. Yeah. Hey, he's a real classy guy. That's nice, John. Well, Zach Gowan, I'm sure. It's not bothering since, Zach Since Gowan. he's a young kid, he's been made fun of. I don't think Zach cares about words. Yeah, Gowan's heard a lot worse than that over the years. Sure the poor kid has, but. And Gowan rolling through it back into the corner by John Cena. This matchup Come on. underway. Oh, Shot to the shoulder of John Cena. Look out, John Cena into the corner. Gowan rolls out of the way. And Zach Gowan lands on the apron. Oof. And look at that. John Cena, remember the shoulder from last week, Taz. Oh. Went to work on the shoulder of John Cena last week. Big time shoulder block right there. Zach got nailed, got leveled. And John Cena with the shots to the side of the head of Zach Gowan. Oof. Wow. Ooh, this is ugly. Cena will just, he, this guy, John Cena, he ain't got no remorse for anybody, no matter how many legs or arms you have. A disturbing display of offense here by John Cena, the pound and ground attack on Zach Gowan. Yeah, John Cena's got that American strong style. He ain't called the doctor of Thugonomics for nothing. He's straight up Thug, man. He hit the nail on the head, though, last week, Taz. No one is going to feel sorry for Zach Gowan no. as Gowan battles out. He's got a contract like everybody else in the back. But what? Zach body drop launched almost to the moon. Well, cool, like I said last week, this kid, Zach Gowan, he don't want nobody to feel sorry for him. This kid loves to defy the odds. This kid got a second chance in life, but right now he might not get a second chance after this FU. What the? John Cena was going to go for the FU, but inexplicably dropped Zach Gowan. And now what? I don't, I don't know what Cena's doing here. John Cena could have finished oh, the kid off right there with the FU. Oh, come on. Oh, my oh, God. Man. Not this. Cena's going to go for his FU. Not for the second row. Oh, Give me a break. Quick buckle. This is bad. Oh, my God. Oh, Zach Gowan. The Smackdown. Remember, The Undertaker went to work on Cena's shoulder, almost yanked it out of socket last week. Zach Gowan having it scouted, took advantage. Springboard, and here comes Zach Gowan. Springboard into that leg lariat. 
by this kid Zach Gowan. This guy's unreal, man. What a huge oh. jump this would be as Zach Gowan delivers the blow to the shoulder again. And Zach Gowan's on the attack. Off the second run. Springboard into that ball ball. He plants John Cena. Come on, keep fighting up now. Get into the cover, Zach. Crook of the leg. Cena's Three. down. Shoulders are just done. John Cena's got a lot of size and power on Zach Gowan, despite the fact that Cena has both legs. I don't know if that's this kid's handicap or not. Look at Zach Gowan on the top rope quickly, I point out. And he's caught in midair. Look at this. John Cena rolls through. Got caught in Oh, my. John Cena just powering. And oh, man. Position for the FU. Gowan's going to get a few. Gowan's planted. John Cena. Shoulders down. Twice about that FQ, he had seen enough out of that courageous kid to fuck to Zach Gowan. Oh, John Cena didn't want to mess around to get himself beat out here on SmackDown. John Cena representing hard, hitting that FQ on this kid Zach Gowan. You know, John Cena, what are you doing? Can't see me. Don't be okay. Well, John Cena with a win tonight, causing the internal injuries to the Undertaker, both that vengeance, and then again last week on SmackDown, internal injuries that the A-Train has really been going to work with. This was last week, Undertaker in control of John Cena, until the A-Train came from out of nowhere and attacked the Undertaker. No doubt, A-Train ever the opportunist, taking the opportunity right there on the ribs of that backbreaker. The FU helped Cena pick up the victory, but then earlier tonight, A-Train would strike yet again. A two-by-four into those injured ribs of the Undertaker. And the A-Train is playing this game smart. You pick your spots with a ring general, a veteran like Big Evil. And that's just what, check it out. Bam, that's just what A-Train's doing, picking his spots. Well, that would be what's in store for Stephanie McMahon later tonight. Stephanie, I'm just here to let you know, your daddy, he paid me a lot of money to do what I did to you at Vengeance. And the truth of the matter is, I would have done it for free. Steph, I know you like it rough. And I like women who like it rough. And no one brings it rougher than the A-Train. Get off. <laughs> Stephanie McMahon looks scared to death, and she should be. Stephanie's dad, Mr. McMahon, made this match cast for later tonight. Stephanie in the A train on SmackDown. Ladies and gentlemen, breaking news while we were in commercial break. First, it was John Cena versus Zach Gowan. John Cena was in control. Zach Gowan showed a bit of a fight in this matchup. Yeah, but watch this FU was nailed. John Cena putting the nail in the coffin, getting the victory. But that wasn't enough. Check this out. Yeah, during the break, Zach Gowan being helped to the back by referee Mike Sparks. Matt Hardy for some inexplicable reason, would ambush, would attack Zach Gowan from behind. Now what the hell did he do that for? Oh, uh, that's version one, Matt Hardy, the sense of attitude. Nailing from behind. Zach Gowan, what a shot. And once again, check this out, look at the impact. Zach Gowan never saw it coming. What is Matt Hardy's problem with Zach Gowan? Well, I'm telling you right now, like the old expression goes, right? If it wasn't for bad luck, this kid Zach Gowan have no luck at all. I'm what did that you. have to do with luck? Well, Matt I'm Hardy came out of the damn locker know. room and plowed the kid down for absolutely no reason. You're getting mad at me. I don't know. I'm not Matt Hardy. I'm Taz. How you doing? I didn't hit nobody. Matt Hardy, as I said last Please. week, is a low-life bully, bottom line. 